This brand new home starts at $1.6 million. You won't believe what the backyard looks like. Let's check it out. First, gotta show you what the exterior looks like. That is the house. You can mix and match exteriors with interiors, but this specific home starts at $1.6 million before upgrades. You can see it's not your typical modern, but you'll, you'll be pretty surprised at the interior. We have a few steps leading up here with a water feature to the right. That's actually the community center. I'll touch on that a little bit later, but then we have covered patio. Before you go up to the front door, two car garage, and I'll show you the inside. All right, guys. This home starts at just $1.6 million before the upgrades, five beds, five and a half baths, just under 3,800 square feet. I'm gonna give you the full tour inside here. Start with me through this left side, this art gallery wall. We've got three light fixtures to put that on display for you. And let's just take a turn to the right before we show you all the fun stuff. This is the in-law suite, great staging, beautiful light fixture above. We're looking out to the front yard with a water feature as well. Once again, you saw that out there in the beginning, but let's go on in here. I love the contrasting tones of the bathroom with the black tile and the white quartz countertops, as well as these fixtures, the gold fixtures, the brass fixtures, built-in bathtub. And yeah, that's nice. There's also a walk-in closet right next to the bathroom as well, but keep on keeping on down here let's head this way there's another bathroom the powder room good amount of space in here it sticks with the same wood flooring as well and i love the hexagon tile on the walls going all the way up to the ceiling in here plenty of room right next to the front entrance too so it's convenient to use the bathroom right as you walk into the house but now here we are open concept living space first off directly in front of me this is the Door to lead into the garage and then a coat closet right here. Lots of storage in that coat closet. Staircase, not a floating staircase in this specific home, but you have a wood staircase. It's probably more, more conventional for a typical family. And if you're up here in this area, there are a lot of families. Here is the living area, flat screen TV built onto the wall. We have a very modern large light fixture up above us that is another upgrade and then we have these white brick the fake white brick walls that look like a cape cod style home that new york styled brick right there open concept i'll give you this angle backyard is insane can't wait to show you guys that kitchen goes with the very contemporary tones with the white the black contrasting well huge island three light fixtures above here Sink is in the center, six burner gas stove, small oven, two wolf ovens, dual wolf ovens, one smaller than the other, plenty of countertop space, and then double-heighted cabinetry going up to the ceiling. Fridge and freezer, Sub-Zero once again, wolf and Sub-Zero, top of the line appliances in here, really no shortage of that. And let's show you the pantry, walk-in pantry room. Plenty of storage space in there, more countertop space to the left, and even more room for this wet bar area, and I absolutely love this. I mean, guys, if you're gonna put upgrades into one of these homes, you gotta add this, this room right here, this wet bar area, or turn it into just a full bar. But what I like, my favorite tone is blue, and this just complements well with everything else going on in this house, a white and blue. Complimentary tone just adds everything to a house in my opinion, especially in these tones Then you also have the black wood shelves that kind of just blend in everything nicely together We also have this oversized window that just looks right out to the dining room Doesn't make that area feel too closed off and claustrophobic But this space is just amazing give you a cool look at that and now I Got to show you the backyard Okay, here we are, backyard. We'll start off small with this little covered patio area, built-in speakers, recessed lighting, must look amazing at night, and we'll just show you it all. This is one of the most extravagant backyards that you will see in any of these model homes. I mean, you might as well design your backyard to look exactly like this because it really doesn't get much nicer. You've got the infinity edge pool as well. You have this bar area, we have you can have your drinks on tap out here too, if that's what you're into. We got the Fire Magic fridge down there. 
we've got the really, this is a very large barbecue grill. You can easily cook up burgers for the whole family. And while you're doing that, you get these mountain views too out here. Pretty cool. We have outdoor dining right next to your barbecue grill. Then let's walk up these steps to show you this pool area. A couple day beds and now we're looking out to the entire San Fernando Valley. This is a massive pool. We got the Baja shelf up here on this side of the pool. Step down to a more of a private area where we have it turfed down here, a couple of day beds, but this is more private. It's out of the way. It's away from the home. You can see it behind me, but you still are looking at the views right along the, that window side right there. And I mean, this pool is huge, guys. You can either build an extravagant pool like this, or you can just turf the backyard like in a couple of the homes next door. This is a nice area too. You got a couple of couple of steps to lead you to the other side. Boom, and now we're looking at fireplace right here. Can you just imagine this being your entire backyard? Under $2 million in the valley, and you can live like this? I mean, this is, this is not gonna go, it's not gonna stay on the market for too long. But you can also buy a lot, design it to look just like this as well. But now we have it's a big side yard too. You don't get this much space in your side yard. In too many homes out here in the valley or in LA in general, fully turfed. Turf is always very easy to maintain. Another look from this angle of the yard. That waterfall edge is an insane touch right there. But let's head back inside. Okay, now we're gonna head upstairs. I'll show you some of the bedrooms up there. We've got this massive gallery wall. I'll show you it from this angle too. Now we've got all the bedrooms. We'll start going to this right side. Because you see the laundry room is right here, conveniently between all the bedrooms. Now we're just gonna start with the primary, the master bedroom. Carpeted flooring in here, but we are looking at a unique upgrade in the wallpaper. More dark blue tones, modern chandelier above. Views of the backyard and the valley. Check that out. That's an incredible image right there. And we'll go into the closet, the bathroom. Carpeted closet, plenty of room. Pretty large closet. I mean, do you guys have enough clothes to fit in every single space of this closet? I'm not too sure, because I might, I probably don't. Right across from the bathroom, you have the same wood flooring that we see throughout, and it is symmetrical. You got the dual vanity, one on each side of the bathtub, and you do get these views, of course, once again. Got to keep showing you guys the backyard because that is the ideal way to upgrade your backyard. If you're buying a home in this community, you got to put the pool in like that. Or if you don't want a pool, you don't need it, but I mean, that is insane. Rewind to this video and look at that backyard once again. It is very rare. Also, this specific model home, it'll probably go for around the $2 million range, but I wanted to show you this one thing. This is the community center right next door to this model that you can actually rent out. There's also a community pool on the other side, but you can rent it out for events, have, there's a pool in, there's pool in there, billiards, lots of games you can do in there, bring the kids over, just have a dinner, have a catered event. Just do anything you really would need in that community center. And it just opened a couple of months ago and not too many people in, in this community take advantage of it. But if you move here, you probably should. It's pretty much your own separate home from your home. But then we also have water closet, toilet room on the left. And there's this unique shower here. You have a step up area. And then you turn into the shower without even touching any doors. Shower head right there. We got the linear tile in this upgrade in the shower wall, shower bench. Good amount of space in that shower. Here's another look at the bathroom and now let's show you some of the other bedrooms. Right across the hall here. Passing the laundry staircase once again. This common area, it's a great common space. This is a built-in quartz desk right there with a waterfall edge. I like the fake TV, I mean, uh, computers that they have. It almost looks like Mac, but MacBooks. Two separate areas for the kids to do some homework, or if you want a home office, you can make it that too. Love the light fixture above. Large flat screen TV, plenty of storage in the cabinets. You can make this a library as well with all the shelving. There's enough space. It's an efficient use of space to have a sofa there in the center. And then we have a few bedrooms to both sides. Carpeted once again. This one... 
is obviously smaller than the master, but let's look at some of these upgrades. There's a very unique light fixture above. Wow, that is a different kind of texture than you'd be used to seeing. This room, front facing, lots of natural sunlight's coming in. Carpeted flooring once again, but a good amount of room in here. And then as you walk through this way, we got the bathroom, walk-in closet once again, bathroom. You got the dark tile this time, contrasts well with a tub, shower, Vanity, white, bright white quartz, and once again, I love the brass fixtures, the faucets in a lot of the bathrooms in here are going with that look, but let's keep giving you a move on to what's next. And across the hall, we will see powder room once again, no cabinetry down beneath, but there's still a good amount of room. It's all you need in there, a sink and a toilet, and now split bedroom one, bedroom two, we'll go in here first. Already can tell, guys, love the staging. Look at that. Nothing but net, and you got two hoops. You shoot one ball, it goes into both hoops. That's pretty funny. This would be great for any kid growing up. If I was a kid growing up, this definitely would be the room to be because of the hoops. I mean, I would never leave. I'd just be shooting hoops all day right there. But enough of that. Let's talk about some of these finishes. We got a fan. We've got the carpeted flooring again. Walk-in closet on that side. En suite, of course. You got to have your own bathroom. I mean, as a kid, that is... It is a nice luxury, honestly, having your own bathroom when you're you're a kid, you have a bathtub. You've got great finishes in the vanity, Kohler sink right there. And I mean, just everything. It's the details in all of these handles as well. The storage space, once again, to put all of your toilet paper. But let's check out the last bedroom right across the hall. This one looks a little bit bigger than the last. Definitely, the staging is unbelievable. You got peaches in the back or cuties if you guys eat any of those fruits you can see look at this bed i don't know if you'd want to keep the bed that close to the flooring but maybe if you are a kid or someone else out there probably likes it like this and when you do purchase these model homes you are purchasing it with the staging included so if you don't want to purchase the model home you want to build your own home you obviously can design it to your liking as well without having all this specific furniture in there but it's always good to know that you have that option now we're looking up to this community, I actually sold four homes on that street up there. That home I sold, unbelievable house, and there are a few others up on that cul-de-sac. If you haven't seen those, they are on my channel. Just look back at a couple of the other videos and you'll see some of the homes that we do sell in this area or in all of the LA County from, from here in Chatsworth all the way out to Riverside and everything in between. But let's keep on moving. Bathroom. Once again, same finishes down here. Love the countertops. Again, toilet. And then blue, guys. Like I said, blue is my favorite tone. So this is the bathroom I'm taking. Might have to take this one over the one with the basketball hoops if I were a kid just because of the tones in the blue. But that was everything to show you in this house. One last look. One last look in the master bedroom because I want to show you guys the pool from up here. Unreal. Can't get enough of that pool. Let me know what you thought of this one specifically. Leave a comment below if you like this house. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I'm posting these videos every single week of homes in this price range on this channel. And if you guys are looking to buy, sell, invest, or rent in Los Angeles, my team and I are happy to help you. We're helping people every single day in real estate in Los Angeles. Subscribe, like, as I said, do all that good stuff. Reach out to me if you have any questions at all. See you guys in the next one. Peace.